Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's your man Wise back at it again with another reaction video. All right, so this is a video that I found from, I believe it's uh, Newsmax. This is uh, Bronx Trump supporters. They're showing them a whole lot of love out there in New York. Now, the video I did yesterday, I learned something. I did not know that 83% of people in the borough of the Bronx voted for Joe Biden. I had no idea that that was the case. Let me slide the video in. And now they got to change of heart, man. So without further ado, let's roll. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. And drop me a comment down below, man. I appreciate the love and support. Let's do it. Part of President Trump's re-election strategy is cutting into traditional Democrat strongholds. Shortly after Newsmax found surprising support for the former president in the Bronx, we found out that he was considering doing a rally here. We he joined should. the New York City Young Republican President, Gavin Wax. That's the one thing that um, we need to get we need to get Trump doing. We need to get him into these uh, neighborhoods that had normally been ignored by Republicans in the past. Um, and a lot of the reason why I don't think it's because they didn't have, a, you know, any uh, any love. They just didn't think that those people would vote for him and, or, you know, would take him serious enough to vote for. So, yeah, he need to go and do a Trump. He need to do a rally in these neighborhoods, very similar to down in Georgia. He um, when Brian Kemp was running against Stacey Abrams, <clears throat> excuse me, he didn't necessarily do a rally, but he definitely did go into the neighborhoods and speak, um, you know, to the people in those neighborhoods, the black and brown people all around the state of Georgia. There's a video of um, Killer Mike talking about this, and that's something that Stacey Abrams didn't do. She got on there and start pandering. Um, but we're we're done with the pandering. We're not falling for that no more. We're no longer falling for the banana in the tailpipe to find out more. Listen, Kara, make America great again. Uh, it includes the South Bronx, believe it or not. It, it's for all Americans. I think this is why it's great that President Trump wants to visit the South Bronx. If I'm not mistaken, I believe AOC is a, a representative in the Bronx, if I'm not mistaken. And we see how that's worked out. And she's been in there for a long time. So they've obviously put her in there a couple of different times. But I would assume that that's going to come to an end pretty, pretty soon as well for some sort of rally. It, it shows that he cares. President Trump and I had been speaking recently about, you know, his prospects in New York, New York City. There was a poll that came out that showed him within the single digits. So we talked a bit about that. I mentioned, uh, you know, the the interviews you did on the street in the South Bronx, where there was a lot of support for President Trump. People were very mm -hmm. excited about him. It was something that people hadn't really seen before. It was something new, it was something novel. Free my son, Trump! Yeah. Free my son! Trump. He went and watched it after our gala. He shared an article uh, commenting on your interviews, and I think it got him very excited. You know, he kind of said, you know, well, let's do a, let's do a rally in the South Bronx. I said, sure, let's let's do it. If President Trump Yo. came here to the South Bronx, hold up, has it hasn't happened yet, right? I haven't seen a rally in the South Bronx yet, but oh man. Oh, man, I'm looking forward to seeing this, man. Would you attend the rally? Of course. I would want to meet Trump. I want to shake his hand. He's the only president that I see that can ever make America great again. Mm. He's capable of doing that. I would love to go to a rally with Donald Trump come. Because I'm a big Donald Trump. Yo, brother look like Tracy Morgan. <laughs> yeah, stand up. Let's go. Trump supporter. And I will support him 100%. Oh, yeah, definitely we're going to show him love. We're going to show him a lot of love. And, you know, like they do in other states. We definitely need to see Trump here. There's nothing but love for Donald Trump here in the South Bronx, the North Bronx, the East Bronx, and the West Bronx. So Let's go. Hey, Trump, let's go. President Trump, get out there, man. Get out to the Bronx, man. Get out there and get that rally, man. Show these people that, hey, we riding for them, too. That is dope, man. Tell me. We, want, we want Trump to come back. Please, bro. Biden, get out of here, bro. I will come to the rally and support Trump because the Bronx need a change and we need somebody that really going to help this community. Mm -hmm. I would definitely come to now, AOC, if I'm not mistaken, I believe she is a representative in that district or in that borough. And look at the people. They're saying that we need a change. And I'm glad that it's unfortunate. I'm not, I don't want to say I'm glad. It is unfortunate that people have had to go through hardships over these past four years. But at the same time, man, it's actually a positive. If we can if we can pull anything positive out of the foolishness that's happened over the past four years is that it has galvanized the people and it has awakened a lot of people that have been sleep, you know, and that had also fell a victim or fall a victim 
or has fallen a victim to the Democrats and their games. And people are now waking up and seeing that these people do not mean us any good. That is, man, I'm glad to see it. To a Trump rally in the South Bronx. I like them. You do? Yes. Yes, I will come to a rally if President Trump was to come to the Bronx. And I also would bring other people to come to and support him. Would Joe Biden get a warm reception if he came to the Bronx? No, he wouldn't have. And I'll make sure of that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we seen the videos of what's happening in New York. New Yorkers are crass. The one thing I do appreciate about New Yorkers, and there's some things, you know, that I can say I don't necessarily like about New Yorkers, but the one thing I do appreciate about the New Yorkers, you always know where you stand with them, man. They are going to keep it all the way 100 with you at all times. Reporting for Newsmax in the South Bronx, New York, I'm Cara Castronova. That's dope, man. Hey, Trump, please, I need to see this. I need to see the rally in New York. And then while you're at it, let's let's get one, you know, let's get one, you know, down in the DMV area. Let's get one, you know, let's let's start hitting the areas where there are a lot of, uh, you know, black people, a lot of black and brown people. Obviously, we know majority of black people live down in the south. And I'm for certain that, you know, he goes into the Atlanta area. He goes into certain cities out in uh, uh, Alabama, you know, out there in Mississippi. He's going to get a very, very warm reception. We seen what it looked like when he was uh, when he had to go in, you know, and turn himself in down. Down there in Georgia, you've seen how many black people were out there in Atlanta, just out on the streets, just to get a chance to see the limo ride by. Come on now, let's go, man. Hey, the brother in there, he said it, man. We got one guy that can come in and help make America great again, put America first, and that is what we need. That is what we need. That is what has been lacking in this current administration they've put us to the back burner and when i say us i mean us as americans and they've put other countries and people from outside of this country in front of us and they are not taking account or or you know taking account for our feelings our well-being and we are suffering the consequences behind it and honestly the poorest among us the poorest among us are suffering the most behind it because their policies hurt those that are in these communities, which is mainly, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, inhabited by black and brown people. Man, we need to change, man. We need to change. But I appreciate the love and support, man. Please make sure you like, share and subscribe to the channel. Drop me a comment down below. I'll catch up with you guys next time. We out. Peace.